It is estimated that 25% of the United States natural gas reserves contain unacceptably large quantities of nitrogen. Nitrogen is inert and lowers the BTU value of natural gas. It also takes up capacity in pipeline that could be used for valuable methane. Thus, nitrogen needs to be rejected from the gas through a nitrogen rejection unit, NRU. Typically, the feed to the natural gas rejection unit comes from the top of the demethanizer column of a cryogenic NGL recovery unit. The feed gas is first cooled against the HP column reboiler and then further cooled in the main cryogenic exchanger before introducing to the HP column. The bottom methane rich liquid is subcooled and sent to an intermediate location of the LP column. The top nitrogen rich liquid is sent to the top of the LP column after being subcooled against the nitrogen vapor. The nitrogen vapor outlet of the top of the LP column first subcools the nitrogen rich liquid and then the methane rich liquid and finally it is sent to the main cryogenic exchanger after the code being fully recovered. The LP column reboiler and HP column condenser is physically one exchanger. On the LP column side, the methane liquid is reboiled and on the HP column side, the nitrogen rich vapor is condensed. The bottom methane liquid from the LP column is pumped to the subcooler and then finally sent to the main cryogenic heat changer after the cold is recovered. In the feed, the nitrogen content is 30%. After the HP column, it dropped to 22.5%. And finally, in the LP column, the nitrogen content is reduced to 4% which is well accepted the pipeline specification in the United States. Thanks for watching this video. It is brought to you by Guofu Chen. More interesting topics can be found at showcase.guofuchen.com.